Kristen here with Be My Travel Muse and today I am in a winter wonderland in Canada and as a California girl I really wanted to know what's it like to have a full-on winter experience. I've been here once before it was in the summertime and today I'm in a place where there's almost no other tourists it's gonna go play in the snow and so let's go on a little adventure and I want to show you the top 10 amazing things that you can do in this province. I'm on an airplane right now going somewhere cool. It's minus 30, but it looks all sunny. Uh, this is the adorable cabin that we're staying at in White Shell, and now it is hot tub time. <laughs> this is crazy. I'm on a frozen lake right now. <laughs> I don't know. That's wild to me. <laughs> Are you sure this is fine? Ooh. What the heck? Is this your first time on the ice? <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh my god. It's so cool though. It's really hot when you have the right gear on. It's minus 21 and I'm really hot. I don't understand how this works. I'm actually sweating though. Such a beautiful winter wonderland out here. And I thought I was gonna be way too cold, but I'm actually more than warm enough. I'm, I'm a little bit hot even. <laughs> and I'm a dragon. How do you feel? Great. <laughs> I feel like I want soup pronto. pronto. So since it's this cold outside, I think it would be really fun to do a magic trick. morning. Time to head out on the way back to Winnipeg, maybe making some stops along the way, and then hang out in Winnipeg tonight. Our wintertime transportation system. Super cool, so they're carving snow behind me. Let's see what they're doing. Check that out, it's a sandcastle made of snow. Sandcastle made of snow. This is neat, they've got teams from all over the world carving these snow castles. It's 
beautiful. I've never seen anything like this. This is basically a, a 10 day festival or nine day festival in February that celebrates the early settlers in this region who were fur traders. And so now I'm in this area where people are reenacting what it used to be like. Where'd you get all these? Trade them. <laughs> okay. This area is called It's like an Arctic box. And you can walk into any one of these buildings and there will be people inside who you can ask questions. Like I was just talking to a fur trader. Fur used to be the currency of the time. And then another man over there was talking about the diet at the time, which I don't think I would have enjoyed. Which <laughs> is uh, dried meat that's been pounded into a powder. You eat it with some fat. It keeps very, very well. They actually recently... This whole festival is sort of celebrating culture from then to now. There's an Aboriginal tent that has Aboriginal music all day. Tribes destroyed and separated. Women and children forcibly fornicated. Harper issued an apology on behalf of the white people to whom which he is related. And I'm really interested in going to the Sugar Shack because I love me maple syrup. So let's head there now. Oh, yes. Oh yes. oh yes, the maple syrup on snow. Give me the maple syrup on snow, yes. Okay, I'll just pour this here. Okay. And then? Yeah, just put your stick like an L. Okay. Yeah, just lay it down on there leave, and leave it there for about a minute and then you'll be able to roll it up. Now we're back in Winnipeg, so thus begins the nighttime adventures in this wonderful city. Since we're focusing on wintertime stuff, I want to take you around the light displays that they have right now. So you can skate all along these trails through the lights. It's pretty cool. Come on, heading into a spa right now. This is the kind where they have a bunch of different pools of different temperatures, different, 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 and saunas, and they've got them all over Canada and Europe, and I really miss them, so this is very exciting, especially in a snowy environment. Yes. Going in? <laughs> no way. Oh, that was so good. So good. What's next? Good morning, Winnipeg. But don't let the sun fool you, it's still minus 17 out there. <laughs> That is a serious snow maze. Serious snow maze, let's get lost. So our adventure brings us now to the largest snow maze in the world. It's about uh, 30 minutes south of Winnipeg and I've never done a snow maze before. Here we 
go. <laughs> hotels in Finland. This is super cool. I didn't expect to find this here. game was tons of fun and today it's time for a little bit more fun. First the zoo and then some winter driving academy stuff. Oh. That's so cool! <laughs> So the Assiniboine Zoo has the Journey to Churchill exhibit, exhibit. <laughs> and so that's where the seals and the polar bears are. And the polar bears were orphaned out in Churchill. And so if they're orphaned, they won't survive. So they bring them here. Actually, they bring them to a conservation center and then they bring them here. So these are all um, polar bears that are getting sort of a second lease on life. And they sometimes will swim above you like the seals were. They didn't feel like it today, but it's really cool to see them all snowy in their natural habitat, especially since right now you can't see them in Churchill in the winter because they're out fishing on the ice. So hopefully we will see some Northern Lights when we head up there tomorrow though. But for now, I'm gonna go take a Mercedes for a spin. Everything on a frozen lake. So we can start this. All these tracks you can see here on the navigation screen. Are... Dang, that's us right now on the lake. Safer, you can't fall off. <laughs> Great. 
Crazy. It's from Whoa. California. You're from California. <laughs> Never done this before. Oh, we have, we have After getting over the initial, um, getting used to the feeling of it, it's a, a lot of fun. I can see it being amazing coming out here and doing it for a few days. Um, anywhere from one to seven days? One to three and a half. One to three and a half days, so you can learn how to do this as well. Now I'm in the ice garage. You can see our sexy car behind me. <laughs> this is super cool. Okay, the car was awesome, but we're not done. We're not done. Time to fly. All right. Oh. Okay. <laughs> A lot of toys in here. Yeah. <laughs> wow, check this out.